The phone rings and someone asks, can you help me? Can you help me? Can we help? Well, it all depends on what it is they're asking for help with. Maybe the house is on fire. Well, we're probably not the people. Let's phone 999 and get the fire service along to help. Maybe they're feeling particularly poorly, green in the face. Well, we might say, well, go to bed, have a rest, but we'd probably turn them and point them towards the local surgery or even hospital. Go immediately, phone ambulance, go to A&E. It's important to ask for help when we need it. And what about an empty plate? Well, I was down at the food bank and they're doing amazing work to bring food to those in real crisis at the moment. There is help out there, the government, but also churches and volunteers working to make sure everyone has a proper meal every day. And think of those children who are not having school meals at the moment. They need our help. Help is there. We need to make sure the help gets to the people who need it. Or what about this one? The computer crashes. Well, don't ask me. I can't help on that one. But I know a man or perhaps a woman who can. Can you help? What about cleaning the church? Well, at the moment, well, we have Henry helping, of course, but um, he's not had much use in recent weeks, and nor has John down at Trinity Church. But maybe that's something we can help with, particularly when we eventually return into our buildings. We're going to need to be very careful about cleaning from one time to another. Who can help? Or what about this face, a lonely, sad face looking out of the window, isolated? There's plenty of people feeling alone and isolated at the moment. We can reach out to them. A phone call, a message, perhaps meeting in the park. Let's help where we can. And what about people asking the big questions? Who can help? Surely as Christians we are there to help others along the journey. We share this journey of life and we share the faith that can help us and guide us in that journey. To know that Jesus is with us always. There are big questions that we ask. And we don't have all the answers, but together we can help each other along the way. Well, I want to mention a couple of events coming up. Uh, in particular, Love Wickham, where we join with other churches in the area, both in the town of Wickham, but also the surrounding area, for online worship on the 28th of June. Looking ahead, there's our own worship from the meadow on the 5th of July. I'll be out of this building and uh, out over, hopefully with the weather, unless it's uh, really pouring down with the rain, we'll be leading worship from the green. Wonderful nettles over there with some amazing caterpillars at the moment. And then looking beyond that, uh, for young people and children, there's Lighthouse, no longer this year meeting in schools, but meeting online and do encourage families wherever they are, and it can be anywhere in the country, to share in that amazing week in July. We can help, we can help each other in these challenging times.